Listen to me, guys. Oh, have I got one for you. Woo! Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! I need you all to come in here. Hey, somebody go get Derek Keener. Somebody go get him. Billow's back. Listen, motherfuckers. I know you've been trying to figure out what's been going on. And the motto for 2021 is, if you're not going to suck my dick, stop worrying about who's sucking my dick. That's going on a shirt. Now, where do I start? You've been seeing me go through shit. Hey, man. Hey, y'all go play. You, you can't hear this part. I got to keep kids away. So look, I've been trying to live the life by the law. I've been trying to protect those I care about. Oh, but no. There's no saving hoes over here. Let me put this out here clear. Oh, bets are off. The new special coming. Tortured souls. Billy Sorrells. I wasn't fucking finished yet. Hey. You want to know where Coco Sorrells has been this whole time? Not saying a goddamn thing. She was too busy trying to get ghetto shooters to come fucking murder me. Now get this. Hey. You were lazy in bed. And you were too lazy to fucking kill me yourself. Yes. That's right. You haven't said shit. Because you not only betrayed me. But you tried to fucking have me murdered and killed. I've been sitting on this shit for so long. And so hard. That I could not hold it any fucking more. I tried to let it go on Mother's Day. But no. You wanted to go do horse shit on my price line. That's right. You, Coco Sorrells, in Jacksonville, Florida right now, with that low-life piece of shit producer you're running with, who has a dog-faced bitch that he's in love with that looks like Hacksaw Jim Duggan. You, motherfucker. Who tried to take my dad's house. Yeah. You tried to take my fucking dad's house that I grew up in. I've been protecting you. I'm not doing it anymore. And if you want to say anything about what the kid's going to do. They're on TikTok, motherfucker. They don't watch Instagram. Now. Oh, that felt so good. Hey, d -Lay, I love you. Sue me. Keep talking about fucking Coco. I don't give a shit anymore. Because today, I will go down as the motherfucker who gave no fucks about anything except my kids. All bets are fucking off, fam. You try to pull your dick out, guess what? Mine's bigger. Now, oh, feels good. Hey, John. Hey. Say hey. That's a nice sweater, Coco Chilla. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. I did. I spent a lot of, lot of time. You spent a lot of time on it. Woo. Shit. In honor of Tortured Souls, which will come out in the summertime, July 21st. Hell yeah. Go look on D-Lay's Patreon. Go over there. He tells you play by play what he did, except one last part. Listen, because I'm going to be collecting more souls, I've got yours, Mr. Lane, and I'm going to hold on it until Jesus Christ or the devil comes to get it from me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And for those of you ladies wondering how big my dick is, nine and a half with a hook. This man is crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I'm just playing fucking chess with motherfuckers who wanted me dead. Hey, Coco. Let me explain something to you, hun. You. And I want shade room. Fifth, oh, excuse me. This is, this is brilliance happening right now. Sorry, toots. Close that door. Listen. Let me tell you something. 
Try to do my best to fucking protect you. Try to do my best to fucking love you. But there's nothing you can do when a motherfucker wants you dead. Now I'll tell you what. We already know where we are. I've got your soul. And I'm going to hold on to it until Jesus Christ or the devil comes to get it. Whichever one comes first. That's not my fucking decision. But I needed a place and Jai helped me find a place to collect the souls I'm going to hold on to until I get out of this motherfucker. Because you were too lazy, much like wanting to suck my dick. You were too lazy to fucking kill me and do me yourself. So now, let me show you where I'm putting these souls at. Hey! Yeah, that's your name. It's a box of souls. I got it, motherfucker, and I'm holding on to it. Yeah, you're alive, but I have your fucking soul. Now, Coco, your name's going next. And let me tell you this. You might say this is a little too far. You might say this is downright crazy. But guess what? At least you're not dead like you wanted me, motherfucker. You plotted to have people come shoot me in my fucking house, and I sat on it. I couldn't even crack a joke because I still fucking loved you. But what I figured out was what's better than getting you off? What's better than watching you sit in jail? No, no, no. I'm going to make sure you're in a perfect view to see me live my motherfucking life all over the Instagram. Hoo-wee motherfucker. I'm back. Yes. Did they fuck? Many times. Was I close by? Yes. Were there other things that happened? I'll tell you in tortured souls. Now. <clears throat> There was other than people that fucked her. And then, I mean, and when they want to tell their story and sell and make some money off of it, somebody should make some money off her pussy because she's not. Listen, when you run off on me and you try to go get a bag, rule number one, ladies, when you leave a man who might be flawed. Yeah, I cheated. Yeah, I lied. Yeah, there was abuse going on both ways. But let me tell you something. You take your toxicity like a woman, you lady. And you take your divorce like a lady. I'm not running you into the ground. Motherfucker, you try to have somebody fucking come and shoot me in my fucking house. No, she's not a gangster. Because a gangster would have finished the fucking job. But that's not what she does because she's too lazy to finish me off. I'm not crazy. Yeah, instead of being a decent fucking human being when you couldn't fucking beat me in divorce court, because you're too shitty of a person to come love your fucking kids. You're nowhere to be found on Mother's Day. You're too busy laying up, running around. And what, what, what type of hotel was that? Econo Lodge. Econo Lodge. Oh, what the God. fuck? You laid up in an Econo Lodge and you put my name on it? Shame on you. No, I'm not toxic. My kids are outside. And they're not on Instagram. They hang out on TikTok. Yes. No. Hey, guess what? Don't give a fuck if you like me. I got my soul. And I got my brain. But this box? Ooh. Tortured souls are going to get it. Because, <laughs> bitch, you wanted me dead. You wanted me dead. And I forgive you. That's the beautiful part. So it's not toxic. Oh, yeah. I love the fuck out of you. We didn't fail at our marriage. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm having a good time. This is happy. It was amazing. Let me tell you. You can't judge me, nigga, because you're not God. God sent me here to tell the fucking truth, the whole truth, so help me. And crack some jokes along the way. See, this is my goddamn page. I do what the fuck I want. I say what the fuck I want. And if you don't like it, you can suck my dick and buy this sweatshirt. Also... And buy the switch. Or run me my fade, you scary motherfucker. Don't give a fuck about a torn ACL. Buy the or buy the sweatshirt. And then ask me to suck my dick. Yes. Bitch. Now. Get my sweatshirt. You went and laid in a fucking Econo Lodge. What's better than Econo Lodge? Everything. Everything. What the fuck? Motel 6? I asked you simply, with all love. I said, please. Didn't I say, job? Did I not say? He said it. I said, please. 
please take my name off the Priceline reservation. me now I ain't crazy I just gotta hold this shit in I been knew you wanted to kill me since April 15th oh everybody's got screenshots everybody was just waiting on you to pull the fuck up and do it and I'm not gonna name anybody else involved cause guess what I was waiting on you to pull up oh hey, let me tell you. she knew you and up. she was waiting on that day Oh, man. So, look. Buy the sweatshirt. Watch the Did You Miss Me podcast. Go see where the fuck this fucking lovely band of fucking misfits. Shout out to Kevin Damn Fool Simpson, who didn't try to kill me. Delay. You know what? I figured it out. He can have his soul back? No, no. He can't have his soul back because your fucking soul is mine in a box because you're a tortured soul. But let me say this. I will say, I am not mad. And we miss you. And, and we miss, I do we fucking miss you. you. I miss you. We hey, miss you. I miss you. I hey, miss you. hey, no, I can't come here. Uh uh. It's toxicity uh, coming out of you. You got to pee? Yes, yes, baby. Okay, let's go. Oh, hey, uh -uh. Now, nah, you can't hear this. This is not for kids. Everybody, get away from their phone. Yeah. Watch this. Sit. Billy, uh, Uncle, 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 Uncle Billy, and, and Daddy loves y'all. I'm coming to play. Listen. That's not the Don't worry. Um, so let me say this. Kevin Danfoo Simpson, I love you. You are Uncle Kevin to my children. Yeah, it's the Econo Lodge for me. Keep letting that know. Econo Lodge. Of all the places to give your pussy up or not give it up, I wouldn't even take a nap in an Econo Lodge. No, I'm not on drugs, nigga. Why the fuck y'all always got to say drugs? I'm a comedian and I'm great. I'm going to die. But not today, bitch, because you did succeed in trying to fucking kill me or shoot me. You can keep playing all you want to and you'll spend your fucking life in jail. I got you. Your soul is going in this fucking box right here. I ain't broken. No, this is a man who's been sitting on the hardest fucking secret of his fucking life. I made many mistakes in my marriage. I made huge mistakes in my marriage. I tried valiantly to love you unconditionally. And guess what? I still love you even though you tried to fucking murder me. Let's get over the fact that you fucking my friends. We were swingers. I don't care about that shit. I'm just mad that my friend. Delay. Didn't say. Hey, there's no Frank Ocean here, okay? I don't kiss men in the mouth, so that's not, that's not it for me. If you want to know how I like to have... Torture soul. Get ready for it. Again, and if you have any questions about what I'm doing with my dick, unless you're going to suck my dick, it's no business of yours until I tell you. So, if you don't want to suck my dick, bye. This sweatshirt. Now, the level of petty. Let me tell you something. Because I need you motherfuckers to know something. I'm tired of being fucking nice guy Billo, Billy Sorrells, or Peaches. Yes, that was me. I shattered the fucking internet with shit black girls say. Let me shout out my girl, Lena Waithe, who fucking took a risk on me. When nobody wanted to take a risk on me, she took time away from her job when she was building her career and she wrote a phenomenal sketch and said, just say the words, Billy. You're going to be famous. She was right. What I didn't realize was, Lena Waithe, I didn't realize what I was watching. Because I, as a performer, a black man, had a mouth Matter of fact, major level of arrogance that I need to fucking correct. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Cheer. Oh, thank you. Cheer. Uh -uh. Cheer. Thank Cheer. you very much. Perfect. See how it is? How we have a woman actually tries to help you and not fucking kill you? Um, honesty moment. Lena Waithe, uh, I owe you the biggest apology because 
much like most guys or girls or people who reach an immense level of success really, really fast, I was too arrogant. I was too, um, what's the word? Stupid. I was too much of a fucking chauvinist. Yeah, I was stupid. I was too stupid. I was too stupid as a man to not properly acknowledge the brilliance of a black woman and how important her support, her allegiance, and not even her support. Beyond that, the moment really wasn't about her supporting me. See, that's how toxically masculine I was in that moment. I believe her sole purpose was to give me what I needed so I could be great. No, 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 no. That's not it. I should have understood that she was helping me build an opportunity that would possibly change my life. But because I was so predicated that the predecessors before me had to be actually men to offer me a major opportunity, I didn't take the time to properly say the word thank you and to put out a full acknowledgement. Now, many of you, some in the comments, in 2011 in the video, Shit Black Girls Say, were not ready for a, at the time, heterosexual male to put on a wig and a dress and be funny. It was presumed that I was gay. And it was presumed that I had cheated in my comedic moment. What I did not realize was that there was a extreme level of authenticity in the way that I portrayed the character that was represented by my mother, my sisters, the mothers of my children and women that I met along the way that I dated to pull from these life moments to share those with you. It, um, I wasn't ready for that. I was not mature enough as a man to fully understand my comedic brain was not yet developed enough to articulate all the things that needed to be expressed in that moment. Because at the time, God said, hey man, you destroying the community, man. You, you, you making it hard for my son to be a real man. And, uh, Meanwhile, you haven't seen your fucking kids in a year or more or done anything for them. You're so worried about how you look when you want to pull your dick out or holler at women or while you're bragging about selling drugs, which is slowly destroying and poisoning our fucking community, you totally missed that shit. Oh, you missed that shit. No, nigga. Slang dope, nigga. But that dress is going to kill the community. No. Hey, Bill Bars, knock it the fuck off. Stop spreading false narrative in my goddamn life. Whatever the fuck I say in here, it is the truth. Why? Because I don't give a fuck anymore. This isn't a meltdown. As I've told you before, I'm simply letting you know things that you should know. Now, my hair is red. It'll be a different color. I'm not going crazy. I'm not. Definitely makes it hard to take a hair follicle test, but some of you get that later. Um... I'm going to say this to Mr. Lair. I love you, bro. And your soul is still mine in that box right here. Now, listen, it's going to stay there. But I don't want anything from you. Just I'm sorry. But we're past that. I still love you. This is my call out to you because we have the greatest fucking story on our hands where we've gone. We are going really around the world. And spaceships must separate from rockets for a while. Hey, man. I got Did You Miss Me podcast on me for life. It ain't going nowhere. Fool, your Uncle Kevin. I love you, fam. I'm proud of you. And I want you to know you're one of the most fucking brilliant comedians of my time. D-Lay, you're a fucking giant. And we made some incredible shit from a closet. And if you know me like I love you, you know you love me. I know you love me. You love me a lot of ways. Listen, but I still love you. Coco! You're the mother of my children. You are still technically my wife, kind of. You know, you wanted to kill me and try to get me murdered and shit. And all the shit you did. But we have the greatest love story. The greatest one. Because it's not fucking picture perfect. We have beautiful children 
who we will save. And I will tear the fucking internet apart to protect. Yes, the children. That you birthed, I watched. Watched them come out of your vagina. And I slowly watched any hope of me actually getting back into a vagina at a regular time go away as you went through what you went through and started acting like you didn't want to take my dick. But it's okay. I still love you very much. Um... Courtney Sorrells is a star. I want you to understand something. She's my fucking star. She will always be my fucking star. Let me show you something. That. Here's the thing. Whole time you've been seeing me here, I've been just trying to get you to understand. I fucking love you, babe. I don't care who you fuck with. These lame ass niggas don't understand. You motherfuckers are so fucking twisted. Let me clear this up real quick. Let me explain something to you. Stop trying to define Love and intimate expression. You don't own it. It's not gender based. It's not sexuality based. You stupid fucks. There's love. There's intimacy. And there's sex. Pinky ring's nice. No, you can't have it. It's mine. But if you want to suck my dick, okay. get a sweatshirt or not. Get a sweatshirt. Um, somebody could suck my dick, but they've been refusing to. And other people have been getting their dicks up. And I want you to suck my dick again. In my sweatshirt. In my sweatshirt. Someone of the two of you, come suck my dick. Today. Um, close that door. They might try and come in here and shoot me. Lock it. Please hurry. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to. No. No. No, no. No. There is no, no, don't call me now. I'm not getting off live. You're going to take this divorce and this live video like a woman. You know why? Because you wanted me dead. No, stop calling my phone. I'm not naming any other names. I'm not saying anything else. Those involved, I love you all. I put a post up on April 14th. And the post said, prophetic. No, 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 no. Ain't no, that's a nice title special, Don't Jump Billo. That might be a good one, Don't Jump Billy. However, since April 15th, you've been around, wanting to murder me, wanting to kill me, plotting to kill me. This ain't snitching because I'm not signing shit, but the things that I want for, and we will do that in a private matter offline. However, while you motherfuckers keep talking about me being nuts, I'm not. I'm not on drugs. I'm a man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. Come on, toots. Knock it off. I'm doing some brilliant shit right now, and you start yelling about what happened at the beauty shop. All right. All right. Turn. Who wants to come in the room yell on, on FaceTime loud than the motherfucker? Do you have uh, six by nines on your goddamn phone? Why is your goddamn phone so loud? Ain't no kids watching me. I already told all my kids. First of all, they not on Twitter. They on, uh, they on TikTok. I'm on live. One more second. So look. Uh, so. Huh? Yeah, man, do your thing, bro. So. Keep making me miss my train of talk. And they're going to think. Oh, you're not great. So. I'm saying this moment because I need everybody to understand. I need everybody to understand. That Coco Sorrells. You were ah, you are the center of my life and have been. I'm a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. But at least I didn't try to kill you. Um, what's cheating when you're still alive? Fuck. I um, no, I ain't heard nothing. 
people texting me like I'm not on live. Now look, for those of you who don't understand, I mean, I need y'all to quiet down for a second because it's killing me right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. I've had no sleep. You all right? Just, just, just hold on a second. Tell them whoever's calling, stop calling me. You keep making me interrupt, and niggas gonna think I'm on drugs. No, it's fucking three people here talking in the house while I'm trying to do this shit, and people calling my phone, distracting me. Courtney Sorrells again, Coco Sorrells, Courtney Maria Cameron, whatever name you want me to. Uh, no, there's no coke, man. Stop with that shit before I turn the comments off, and y'all won't be famous. Our love story is perfect. It's perfect because it's not perfect. You understand? It's a perfect love story because you and I did our very best to try and love each other as much as we could. And we didn't fail. I'll tell you why we didn't fail, because we kept trying. And there's still love here. I failed at being the best leader of this marriage. I'm not going to let you own a failure in this fucking marriage because we didn't fucking fail. You understand? I don't give a shit about what nobody think. I don't care because a real man stands alone with no validation. I'm not seeking validation for you. I'm not looking for any of you to feel more or something about me or any of that because Courtney was fucking perfect. You know, she tried to kill me. And your new name is going to be Angela Lansbury. Or Assassin's Creed. Or um, probably going to stay with Angela Lansbury. No, you, you, you tried to murder me. And I wanted you to know something. Although you may have had people around you who were willing to kill for you. I don't think anybody else in this world would have died for you. Definitely would have. You understand? It's easy to kill for somebody, but how many people would die for you? How many people would die for our children? Ain't no car crash here, fam. This rocket connected to a major fucking spaceship is going to a whole nother place. I'm not trying to send you to jail because our daughters need you. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say about what you don't like. But, but, but. At least I didn't try to kill anybody. Because death is permanent. The internet is not forever. Do you understand? It's not a real fucking place. If Wi-Fi and fiber optic cables go down, this is not real. Real life is what's around you. And guess what? Real life is right now. It's not yesterday. It's not tomorrow. It's right now. I'm not out to stalk you. I'm not out to hurt you. I've got the kids, fam, and I'm taking care of them. And guess what? When this is all said and done, you can come and go as you need to. Just don't try and fucking kill me again. Don't you try and finish sending shooters over here. I, I possibly survived being poisoned as a fucking seven-year-old. I don't know. I mean, if fucking me or sucking my dick made you want to kill me, I'm sorry. You don't got to do it no more. Damn, bitch. If fucking me was like, oh, I'm just about to kill this nigga. Oh, I'm a comedian, nigga. But until then, uh, shake it off. Your soul is going in this goddamn box next to my buddies there, and I'm holding on to it till Jesus Christ or the devil comes to get it. Lonely at the top was an immense success, and it's a continued story. No, it's not a slander campaign. Amen. What do you think the fucking internet is for? What I'm going to do on that stage is what I always do on that stage. I'm going to give you my life as much as I can. When I posted on my page, hey, man, I ain't going to be here long. I was trying to hint at the fact that any day this motherfucker could kill me. I wasn't going to kill myself. She was trying to kill me, fam. Like, you already fucking other niggas. Like, what do a nigga got to do? If Bill Gates.
Gates can't keep a bitch. If Kanye gave his bitch, then what the fuck did a gangster know from Beta Up Chapter who will slap the peepaw shit out of you, nigga? Yeah, shout out to the nukes out there. I pledge the Black Greek Letter Fraternity. I'm a Mason, father four, father to all children who need a dad in around who wants to tell them the real fucking truth. Because I don't care if you're gay, you're straight, you're ugly. We got to start calling out more of these ugly goddamn babies because y'all keep bringing some ugly goddamn babies because you keep fucking ugly goddamn people. Spread that ugly shit around. Somebody's got to fuck some ugly people. And if ain't nobody fucking ugly bitches, then where the fuck these ugly babies coming from? Now, again, torture souls. This is where I will keep the souls that I hold on to in this box. Right there. Again, don't try to use my price line and go lay up in the condo lounge. You go to the goddamn Western if you're going to be on my goddamn dime. Your pussy's way better than that. Way better. Bitch, the more key is $379 a night. What is it? The more key is $379 Whoever is fucking with you down here in Jacksonville, Florida right now, not that washed up ass producer motherfucker. Hey, you take her somewhere nice, bro. Whoever the fuck it is. Bon boy. Jesus. Bon boy bitches around here. We ain't no And I want my goddamn mattress back. I don't give a damn about all that goddamn furniture. That mattress was $4,000. And if we're breaking up, let me tell you guys something. Husbands and men living with women or men living with men or women living with women or past... Gen hey, you know who you are. Listen. Whoever you are, if it's three of y'all and some swing... Because I'm in the three. Like, threes is just better. I mean, I'll be honest with you. If you have not had your... Uh, Dicks up. Buy a bad bitch. Wow. Eating pussy. Oh my God. You're missing out. Um, but just remember, you're gonna you're gonna gonna swing, swing all the way. Don't be out here like, yeah, my dick up to any holds up, and your girl always gotta watch you fuck other bitches, and then you try to tell her what you get all insecure for. No, let her see what other dick feel like. Then you will start understanding how sex and intimacy and love is not predicated to a male, masculine, gender preference, motherfucker. That's called intelligence, but you're too stupid to see it because you're too fucking insecure because you're too scared to wonder if your woman could actually be pleased and satisfied by another man other than you. That's your fucking insecurity. Ladies, stop fucking faking orgasms for these little dick niggas. Woo! Stop. Don't you want to stop doing that? Woo, that's, I don't do it no more. Hey, you crazy as hell. don't give me no fake moans. Don't you give me no goddamn chuckles. You give me whatever emotion comes out. If it's a hee hee, whatever the fuck it is, if you're a ass bitch, fine. And if you're a silent, Charlie Chaplin, no emotion given motherfucker, that's fine too. But whatever you do, or whatever you don't do, it's better than not trying to kill me, because my wife tried to kill me already. I should try to take my daddy's house in a divorce. And that's all I'm giving y'all for right now. Coco, I love you to death. You're going to be a fucking star. You already are. Everybody's going to be a star. We're going to get together one day when we're not too busy being mad. Hey, Tara Goins, Kevin Parker, this video's going fucking viral. I, it's going viral because I said it is, because nobody's doing anything on the internet but getting ready for the versus battle tomorrow between Escape and SWV. So, Tara Goins, Jenny Kim, Kevin Parker, innovative artists, Artists first. The bookies are about to come to fuck in. Now, um, because we're going to be fucking rich. We will not have any more scammers trying to fucking run my wife and kids away from me. Hey, motherfucker, I knew the pussy was good. You had it before me and I got it. I married it. She left you while you was in jail. Listen, if you don't want me to expose you to your fucking wife while you were trying to fuck with my wife and fuck my family up, you piece of shit, while I was changing my goddamn life, I gave you my word. I said, don't call her no more and stop trying to fucking fund a divorce and trying to ruin me. You try to take my daddy's house, you piece of shit, bitch. And I know you was trying to kill me, too. And you know who the fuck you are. Don't make me start naming motherfucking names. If I die, 
Guess what? They already know who you are anyway. Because I ain't snitching because I ain't do no crimes with you, nigga. I make my money the old-fashioned way. I put a wig and a dress on. I dye my hair. I talk shit on the internet. I live my life. And I tell you what the fuck's going on when everybody else too pussy and scared to tell you what it is. It ain't nothing wrong with losing. Because you learn more from losing than you do more from winning. God told me, teach from your flowers, son. Everything else is going to be all right. I'm a trained professional. I've been doing comedy 17 years. I've been at over 200 colleges and universities. I graduated from Texas Southern University. I tore Howard University up. Shout out to Hampton. Shout out to Grambling. Shout out to Southern. All the places that didn't book me. Hey.